Hi, uh, Steamer Joe here. One of my previous videos, uh, an astute watcher noticed this engine sitting in the background, and I've got kind of a story about this uh, small, full scale twin cylinder marine engine. I've got a Stewart twin launch engine in the foreground for a sense of scale. It's a one inch bore and stroke. Uh, marine engine. Part of the reason I'm using it for scale is that uh, I hope you'll notice that a variety of the design features of the the larger twin that I built were essentially copied from the Stewart engine. Uh, now I did use cylindrical trunk guides for the crossheads on the one I designed but the table is supported by five columns. The Stevenson reversing gear is all modeled pretty closely after the Stewart. Now the interesting thing about this is when I built it I was doing sand casting in my backyard. And I've kind of gotten away from that hobby but uh, many of the pieces on here were cast by myself and I made all of the the wooden patterns. The rod big ends, the main bearings, eccentric straps, cross heads, the gland nuts, table supporting the cylinders are all aluminum bronze. The base of the engine is aluminum and again I cast all those in the backyard. The iron was too much for me to do. So I took my patterns to a local foundry, talked to the owner of the place. He was interested in my project, complimented me on the on the patterns, but said they didn't correspond to the boxes that they used at the foundry and uh, that it would really cost more than I could afford for a hobby project to have him do the work. But he introduced me to his shop foreman. He told me he did a little work sometimes after shift. So he took me out, introduced me to the fella who agreed to do all the iron castings. Valve chests, covers, cylinders, cylinder heads, trunk guides, everything iron on the engine. He adapted my pattern boards to their boxes and produced all the iron castings for me and charged me two bottles of wild turkey whiskey. This was in the early 80s. Probably the best deal I'll ever get for casting. My plan at the time was to build a very small full-scale steam launch my hope was to fire it with coal. Again, that was many years ago. Uh, a boiler to to power this engine would be quite an endeavor, let alone all the associated systems for a boat. So uh, I may one day build a boat, but I'm concentrating on models now primarily. I'm going to plug this in. I have down here in my basement shop a, a small compressor I use for blowing chips and stuff. But I'm going to connect it to this engine and let you see it run. I'm going to turn off the little compressor because it's so horrendously noisy. I've got it pressured up now and I've got the regulator set for 20 PSI. I'll let you at least see uh, how it runs though slowly and for a short time. The engine has a this two and three eighths inch bore by two inch stroke. I modified a couple of 12 horsepower gasoline crankshafts and in 
increase the length of the stroke to the two inches it is now. Press those two cranks together for my crankshaft. So again, I'm kind of proud of the engine. I've got the Steamer Joe logo cast into the <laughs> to the valve chest, and uh, I was pleased to see that one of the other viewers had noticed this in the background of one of the other videos. So hope you enjoy it, Steamer Joe. See you later.